In this video, we're going to take a look at how to ship an LTL order uh, using PasteJet's integration to Acumatica. Uh, I've got a sample order set up here inside of Acumatica for USA Bartending School. Uh, we've got a couple of sample items that we're going to be shipping out. We've got four South Shore Savannah changing tables, as well as three Little Tykes Old and Bright table and chairs that we're going to go ahead and put this order together for. Uh, now, before we get to actually shipping this order out, what I want to do is grab a, a shipment cost estimate that I can pass along to my customer. And if I'm a salesperson or a service rep in the office, it's very easy to do using PasteJet's integration. I can go over to the shipping settings tab, click on the shop for rates button. And once I refresh rates, what PasteJet is going to do is we will take the full dimensions and weights that can be entered in on the item master record using the PasteJet integration. We are going to predictively pack these items into any standard package or pallet sizes that our customers have set up. Send that information out to their carriers and we're going to return rate results for all of the available carriers that can take this order. Again, this is leveraging the PasteJet network. We have over 70 direct carrier connections, including parcel, LTL, 3PL carriers, you name it. But once that's done, we're going to list all of our customers' carrier options to ship a particular order out. You can see we've got Estes, RNL, Conway, ABFS all showing up here. We have the service level that's being used. We have costs, amounts, which include freight markups, as well as dates in transit and delivery date estimates showing up as well. So I can go off of a number of different criteria when selecting this, but let's say we wanna go with the cheapest method. 144.71 seems to be the lowest cost here, so let's go with RNL carriers. When I select okay, ship via updates. Uh, if I go to the totals tab, we will also update the freight cost. So that way, again, salespeople, service reps inside of the office who don't necessarily know how an order is going to be packed can very easily grab a shipping cost estimate to pass along to a customer. But now what I want to go ahead and do is take this information and we're going to ship this order out in the warehouse. So the first thing that I need to do to get this information to our shipping workstations in the warehouse is create a shipment inside of Acumatica. This is going to be a simple example. We're going to commit the entire order quantity to ship on a single shipment, but PaceCheck can handle back-ordered items. We can handle multiple shipments off of a single sales order. Uh, we've got our four uh, changing tables, our three air hockey tables ready to go. Uh, the only thing that I need to do to stage this information inside the PasteJet user interface is going to be confirm the shipment. And once that's done, if I go out to the PasteJet user interface on what we call our shipping workbench, I'll be able to see right up here at the top, these are all my queued orders, but right up at the top, we've got this one that we just sent out uh, to PasteJet. And we can programmatically send this information. So every five minutes, any confirmed shipment shows up. Uh, every hour, whatever cadence our customers want to send this information out, we can have this automatically show up uh, at our shipping workstation. So then if I'm a shipper in the warehouse, I can click open an, ind an individual rate and ship page where we will pull in shipment IDs, carriers and class of service if it's been pre-selected. I can even clear this out if I want to rate shop on the back end. Ship from information, ship to information, and the primary piece that I want to interact with when I'm shipping orders out is gonna be the package information. I'm gonna tell PasteJet how an order is packed. I can create uh, a number of different packages here. So if I wanna go three pallets, I can add, start from scratch, or I can clone a particular container just to add to my list. Dimensions are gonna pre-fill based off of standard container sizes that our customers set up. And then all I wanna do is tell PasteJet how an order is packed. So let's say we're gonna go with two of these changing tables on pallet one, two of them on pallet two, and then we're gonna take these bold and bright table and chairs, all three of them, they're gonna go on pallet three. Click done, I can automatically recalculate weights based off of items that are included on each pallet. You'll notice that class codes will update as well based off of what is showing up in the Acumatica item master record. We can also pull in scale weights as customers want to put pallets or boxes on USB scales and read that weight back in. I went ahead and cleared out RNL as the carrier and class of service for this particular order. So what I'm going to do now is click on this gear icon and we're going to rate shop again on the back end to make sure that we really are getting the best cost for this shipment. You can see we're going to send the information out to our customers' negotiated carrier accounts. 
LTL is highlighted in green. That means that this contains the lowest cost option to ship this order. And Estes is pre-selected. I can go ahead and look at FedEx freight rates, UPS freight rates, any 3PLs that our customers have set up. Again, a number of different options. But if we're going off of cheapest cost or best way to ship this order, let's go ahead and ship this out with Estes. So when I click that ship button, we're going to send the information out to the carrier. They're going to return back pro numbers. We are automatically going to print bills of lading, shipping labels, pallet labels, packing lists, commercial invoices, any export documents that you need. Updated cost and price information is going to come back in. And then we are going to have this information ready to come back into the Acumatica shipment record. So if I go back to Acumatica, up to Actions, and click Update Page Jet Shipments, we're going to bring that kind of detail back into the shipment record so that our customers can view all shipment information in one place. And again, this does not have to be in a one-off basis. We can programmatically send this information back in, and Acumatica gives customers the ability uh, to automate these processes so that every five minutes, every hour, every 30 minutes, whatever cadence customers want to bring back shipment information, they can very easily do that. When we bring back shipment information, if I go to the Packages tab, you'll see we have our three pallets here. Pallet weights, dims, tracking numbers are all back in. If I go to each pallet, I'm able to see pallet contents. It's got our changing tables and our bold and bright table and chairs in our third pallet here. Shipping settings will update the ship via, as well as update the freight cost, the freight price, as well as update the pace jet status to completed. So now I can send a shipping estimate to my customer, letting them know that this order is staged and it's ready to be picked up from the carrier. Uh, and EDI providers can also pull the information that they need to generate an ASN. A very simple, streamlined process for both parcel and LTL shipping, all handled directly within the PageJet user interface and automating the transfer of information to and from Acumatica.